When we introduced the limit in the previous lecture, we did not make any distinction on the direction of the approach. With smooth curves, this didn't matter. This is because the limit was the same whether approached from the left or the right. However, when we look at the graph of the step function, we have a clear problem. Let's fill in the values of the table so we can see why. Notice the limit as x approaches 2 is different if we come from the left or from the right. Approaching from the left, the limit is 2. Approaching from the right, the limit is 3. So, which is it? Well, both, and neither. Let's explain how this works in more detail. When we are looking for the right-handed limit, we note this with a plus after the value of c. And when we want to find the left-handed limit, we use a negative sign. It's easy to remember the directions if you think of it like the wind. When we say the wind is north, it means the wind is blowing from the north. So when we are looking for the positive limit, it means the limit is approaching from the positive x-axis, and vice versa for negative. The positive and negative limits can have different values. But when the positive and negative limits are equal, we say the limit exists. When the positive and negative limits are different, the limit does not exist. Intuitively, this makes sense, because asking for the limit produces multiple answers. It is not until a direction is specified that a single answer can be given in this case. Now, let's practice what we just learned by finding the limit of f of x equals 1 over x as x approaches 0. Let's first fill in the tables for the values surrounding x equals 0. We can see that the negative values of x approach negative infinity as we get closer to 0. Therefore, the correct answer for the negative limit is negative infinity. For similar reasons, the answer for the positive limit is positive infinity. So what is the correct answer for the limit as x approaches 0? There is none. The limit does not exist. Let's do the same problem for the limit as x approaches 1. First, we find the negative limit equals 1. Next, we find the positive limit also equals 1. Because the negative and positive limits are equal, we can say the limit exists and that is equal to 1. Hope you enjoyed this lecture from freeacademy.com. Please visit our website for more lectures and to support free education.